Welcome back to Escape from Monkey Island. We've made it to the Mists of Time, or the Marsh of Time? Marshes of Time? And uh, Peg Nose Pete is supposed to be out here somewhere. We've got the compass to the top uh, left, and the time to the bottom right. And uh, if we use the instructions that we got from Dave at the prosthesis shop, then we hopefully will be able to work this out. Let me have a look at this. I've actually written these there down, to Peg Nose so I don't need to continue Weird. opening my Looks inventory. like a train schedule to me. But it does give you the time and the direction that you need to go. So the time is 1.20, which means I need to head west. And as I said, I have written these down, so I won't need to open the inventory every time I get to a new screen. Uh, 145 is south. And 12... 40. Uh, that's west. Hey, Guybrush, I need your help. Well, this is a little bit confusing. There's a, a second Guybrush. We are in the, the mists of time, the marsh of time, so it's probably a future or, or a past Guybrush. Here, take this. Where did you get this? That's not important. What's important is that you open the gate for me or you'll never solve this puzzle. Oh, you'll need this too. Ooh, a rope. That'll be useful. And this. Um, great. A rubber chicken with a pulley in the middle. Okay, so... He gave us a key. A rope and a chicken pulley. Let's use the skeleton key to open the gate, first of all. No way! That's probably Pegnose Pete disguised as me again. Okay. I'll we'll have a chat with him then. If you're really me, then what number am I thinking of right now? Twelve. Creepy. That is the number I'm thinking of. I guess you really are me. Okay. Guess it's not Pegnose Pete. Obviously, it doesn't sound like there's no pig nose Pete, but let's uh, open the gate with the skeleton key. Thanks, Guybrush. You're the greatest. Oh, I've got one more thing for you. Hey, great, a gun! Watch out, Peg Nose. <laughs> okay, so this is a little bit awkward trying to get out of the way of each other. The time is 2.10, so I need to actually head down to the south. And that seems to be where the other guy brush is headed, so I'm going to follow him down to the south. And uh, the time now is 2.50. 2.50 is actually east, so I'll just head over here. See where this goes, and uh, 3.45, I think I've been here before. Probably not at this time though, and uh, this is south, we're back hey, at the gate. I need your help. Uh, but this time we're the other Guybrush, the future Guybrush. Um, so I will need to remember the order that I do things. Um, I think I gave him the key, first of all, or he gave me the key. I think that's the first thing that happened. Here, take this. Where did you get this? That's not important. What's important is that you open the gate for me or you'll never solve this puzzle. And now I do need to get the order of things correct, otherwise I'll be teleported back in time to the beginning of this area. Now I think what was given next was the, was the rope. Let's give this to the past Guybrush. Oh, you'll need this too. Ooh, a rope. That'll be useful. And then there was the rubber chicken. And this. Um, great. A rubber chicken with a pulley in the middle. If you're really me, then what number am I thinking of right now? Okay, the number was 12. 12. Creepy. That is the number I'm thinking of. I guess you really are me.
Thanks, Guybrush. You're the greatest. Oh, I've got one more thing for you. Hey, great, a gun. Watch out, peg nose. And uh, the future Guybrush uh, went down to the south. We need to go down to the south as well. That's the time, 12.30, heading down to the south. Uh, which is ooh, which is fine, but we have uh, five past twelve, which is to the west. Hopefully, Pegnose Pete isn't too far away. Ah, here we go. I bet a whole lot of crawdaddies would fit in this trap, and I bet it doesn't catch many either, with gaps that big between the bars. I can hear some people talking inside. If I move closer to the window, maybe I'll be able to make out what they're saying. Like I said, I got the job done. Now where's my money? Hmm, this should be good. Hey, yeah, all in due time, my dear Mr. Pignose. Hey, that voice sounds familiar. We've only completed part of the plan. You've done an admirable job in getting Guybrush out of the way. As well as reappropriating the Marley family heirlooms. I trust you put them somewhere safe for the time being. Of course I am. I'm no idiot. That junk you're so interested in is safe and sound in my impenetrable cave. That junk, as you call it, may very well be the key to ridding these islands of pirates once and for all. Uh, uh, no offence, of course. Right. So about my fee. Later, my good man. In the meantime, the heirlooms are our little secret. Keep them hidden, and not a word to anyone. We'd hate to have my plan spoiled by an indiscretion. All right, Mr. Batgirl, we'll do it your way. But if you don't pay me soon, I'll cut your gizzard out. There's no need to be such a ruffian. You'll get what's coming to you. I'd better. I'm off to tend to my affairs. Now that we're in possession of the Marley heirlooms, I must begin determining how they relate to the ultimate insult. So, Pegnose is working with that Mandrill guy from the bank. After I deal with Pegnose here, I'll have to pay Mr. Mandrill a little visit. Hmm, we will do that, but uh, I'm going to set up a little trap, first of all, for Pegnose Pete, and use the... Uh, the chicken grease here on the welcome mat. And uh, you can probably guess what's going to happen here. I'm going to use... Oops. I don't want to open the door. But I am going to uh, try to scare him out by using the, uh, the duck. And let's uh, throw that in the window. I don't think so. You're going to jail, bucko. Well, Inspector, here's your real criminal. What's this? That looks like Peg Nose Beat. Yeah, let me out of here. It is. He's the one who framed me for the bank robbery. I'd like this anklet removed now. You've got nothing on me. I overheard you and Ozzy talking about how he hired you to rob the bank and frame me. Ha! That won't hold up his evidence. He's right. Do you have proof he did it? Well, not exactly. Then I will not be administering justice in this case. But you can't just let him go. Oh, Pete's not going anywhere. He's wanted for plenty of other crimes. Come back when you think you can prove what you claim. <sighs> All right. Okay, so the job's not done. We need to find some proof that Peg's no Pe that Peg knows Pete was at the scene of the crime. So I'm going to head back to the bank. I think it's actually in this direction. The other way. No, it's the other way. I wonder what happened to the chess players, actually. Are they still there? They got into a bit of a fight. Bomb oh. magnet! They're still playing chess. Looks like they've... <laughs> they've sorted things out. And uh, we have the bank over here, so I do want to 
go back to the scene of the crime and see if there's anything I can find. Uh, I'm pretty sure I won't be able to get through the front door. Returning to the scene of the crime, are you? I was just looking for evidence. Right. Bank's closed until my investigation is complete. So I don't want to see you going in there. Hmm, I think we have something that uh, may help here. I'm going to use the prosthetic skin over the manhole cover. Hey, it's like a trampoline. Soft rocker! Whoa, whoa, whoa! Okay, so we are here in the bank. I'm just going to head on down and have a look around. I didn't really have a good look in the bank the first time I came here because Mandrill was having a chat with that lady. Uh, there is a pool chain. I wonder what would happen if I pull it. Uh, why don't you pull it then and see what happens? It Aha. controls that light. Technology marches forward. So I don't think there's anything else here. There is a little uh, ship in a bottle, which is quite interesting, but I don't think That's I can... That's the second most useless trinket I've ever seen. Take that with me. Uh, on this table over here, we've got the scupperware, so I definitely want to pick that up. And you may notice once I turned on the lights that there's an interesting shadow up to the top left. I will need to climb back up again. What's that shadow? It looks like a nose? Hey, a prosthetic nose! Good, gross. I'll bet this belongs to that smelly pirate guy. The one with no nose. I'll take that, Mr. Threepwood. Ack! What are you doing in here? I might ask you the same question. Instead, I'll just take that as evidence. Let's go try it on Peg Nose. No, this wouldn't be enough to convict him. Even if it fits, it only proves he was in the bank. It doesn't tie him to the loot. You still think I did it, don't you? Yes, but I can be swayed by the right evidence. Now get out of here. Gee, I wonder how Elaine's doing. And so, my swashbuckling citizens, as we approach the next century, can we really afford to entrust Melee Island's future to a man with no past, a man with no experience, a man who doesn't even seem to like pirates? Common sense says no! My opponent is right. I am a newcomer to these islands, and it's true that my experience in affairs of state is minimal at best. But it doesn't take a seventh-generation pirate princess to see that Melee Island needs more than a part-time status quo governor. A governor who can't even promise her citizens good times and free grog. You, you, you can't be stupid enough to believe that Charles is just going to give you free grog and good times, can you? Well, things are not looking good for Elaine back on Melee Island. nothing we can do to help her at the moment so I'm just going to continue on uh, where do I want to go back to the uh, the bait shop I think ah here we go So I wanted to come back here and get some bait. I also wanted to see if I could grab those termites as well. 
the smell of fresh bait, huh? If that's fresh, I don't want to know what old bait smells like. Uh, let's grab the termites first. I do have the wooden prosthetic hand, so this is probably going to work here. Hmm, this requires stealth. Come and get it, boys! Ah, look at those little buggers go! They must be real hungry for the taste of redwood. Okay, termites. Now, uh, I'm gonna pick up some free bait as well. Hey! Take that outside! They're scaring me bait! Oh, it'll only take a minute. Okay, and I want to put the bait in the, uh, the scupperware that I picked up uh, at the bank. There, now my bait will stay fresh. There we go, beautiful. It's kind of interesting that they have uh, some dialogue if you open up the inventory in, uh, in their shops. So that's pretty cool. Right, uh, I think I've got everything I need. I'm gonna head over to Ozzy's mansion. Let's have a chat with him. We know he's in league with Pegnose Pete now. So I'm not sure if I should confront him with it straight away. I do wanna have Hi. a chat with him. So he's the Australian Who are you? developer. What are you doing in my house? <laughs> Lots of uh, animals here. I'm Guybrush Threepwood, mighty pirate. A pirate? I hate pirates. My name is Ozzy, Ozzy Mandrill. That name sounds familiar. Weren't you the one who was supposed to bring balance to the force? Don't play the gink with me, Threepwood. Who's playing? Well then, allow me to illuminate the dingy corners of your mind. Ozzy Mandrill is a businessman, a capitalist, a real estate developer. I'm also the future king of the Caribbean. <laughs> hey, you're the guy who's trying to buy out the scum bar. The scum bar? That's just the tip of the aardvark. I'm gonna buy the whole Caribbean. What's your beef with pirates? Well, for one thing, pirate smell. The only thing that smells worse than a pirate is two pirates. It's enough to make a man park a tiger on the rug. Uh, yeah, right. I'm not gonna confront him with that at the moment. We're gonna set up a little trap. My navigator tells me that you're pretty good with an insult. Pretty good? Listen, Kitty Wink, I'll have you know that my insults have finished off over 500 hostile takeovers. There isn't a man alive or dead who can withstand the might of my withering barbs. I bet I can beat you. Oh, uh, really? And what stakes do you propose? Um... <laughs> Let's not do uh, this right now. I don't want to fight you now. Maybe you're not as stupid as you look. Well, I'll be seeing you later. Not too soon, I hope. I think I'm going to have to learn the ultimate insult before I can uh, face Ozzy Mandrill in a in a fight. Um, it's got some poor thing, poor defenseless giant platypus. He's got some stuffed animals here. Poor thing, poor doomed hapless giant kangaroo. And that uh, looks like a dingo over there as well. Uh, so, yeah, I want to get Ozzy Mandrill to replace his cane and uh, use the termites then to set a bit of a trap. So I'm going to use the uh, the cologne here. See if I can ruin his his uh, platypus. What are you doing? And what is that horrid smell? You've befouled my platypus. Ah, oh, crikey, look what you made me do. Now I need to order a new cane. I thought he'd never leave. Okay, now that he's back, Oops. Still here, are ya? 
Nope, I'm heading off to town and I do want to beat him into town and uh, try to get to the House of Sticks before he arrives. Just so I can put the termites on his walking stick. Those little buggers sure know high quality wood when they see it. Pretty. My new kind of better be ready. Oh, it sure is, Mr. Mandrel. It's right uh, over on that bench there. Creepwood? Thinking of buying a walking stick of your own, are you? Uh, it might make you look more distinguished. <laughs> Quite like a monkey in a hat. <laughs> yeah, those are funny. Hey. Put it on my bill, Freddy, and don't even think about overcharging me, or I'll own ya. Yes, sir. Always a pleasure, Mr. Mandrill. That's the, uh... <laughs> the game was actually playing out Waltzing Matilda while he came in, if you noticed that. So back to the map, I'm going to head back to Ozzy Mandrill's house and uh, I'm going to try and convince him that we know where the loot is and hopefully follow him to the secret hideout. So let's head back into the mansion. It's kind of a strange looking mansion. Oops, sometimes Garbrush just runs in the wrong direction. There we go. I'm back. What do you want now? Hey, you're the jerk who hired Pegnos to frame me for the bank robbery. That's strange. I heard that you were the one who robbed the bank. Ha! I overheard you talking to Pegnos in the swamp. What? You heard me. I know all about your scheme to steal the Marley heirlooms. Ah! Your puny pirate brain is incapable of perceiving the true depths of my scheme. Besides, you'll never be able to pin anything on me without the loot. And you'll never find it. Ha! I already found it. Really? You found Pegnos's booty showcase. Um, yeah. What did it look like? It's very nice. Lots of booty. Hmm. You're probably bluffing. But I was planning to take a hike to the showroom anyway. And when I return, I'll have plumbed the mysteries of the ultimate insult. Don't touch anything while I'm gone. Grandpa Marley's letter mentioned the ultimate insult. I wonder if it's important. So as you can see, he's leaving a trail of sawdust behind him, which is good because it means that uh, <laughs> I can follow the uh, trail of sawdust to the secret hideout. Don't want him to get too far ahead. Good thing I had that trail to follow. Up until now, that is. It's disappeared. Those termites probably ran out of cane to eat. Now, where did that Australian pirate phobe go? Oh, there he is. I must have kangaroos in me upper paddock. Be very, very quiet. I'm on Nazis. This ultimate insult nonsense has me uncharacteristically baffled. I knew I should have taken that class in ancient voodoo curses at the University of Toowoomba. The heirlooms must be nearby. So we saw him coming out around the back of uh, this little island here, so I'm going to head around and see if there's anything there. At trees. Is there anything else besides trees here? Hey, there's a hidden passage back here. That must be where Ozzy disappeared to. Well, let's climb down. 
see if we can find the hidden loot. This is uh, their little secret hideout. Uh, what's the name of the skull? Um, Murray. Murray? Yeah, yes, Murray. <laughs> he, was, uh, he featured a lot in the last game, but he hasn't shown up here, so... Uh, I guess he's uh, not around at the moment. There is a button on this the button side of the table. This button screams, push me. Okay, let's push it then. Hey, that looks like the Lucre Town Bank's missing loot and the Marley heirlooms. I gotta find a way to get in there. Okay, so it's in some kind of underground, uh, underwater cavern there. I'm gonna climb back up the ladder and see if I can get around. I don't think there's anything else you can do in that uh, secret hideout. Uh, now I do have the um, uh, the bait because I'm going to going to need that. Oops! Turn around, guy brush. And uh, guy brush can hold his breath for a long, long time, so I'm not going to be too worried about that. But uh, there are some interesting fish down here, so let's grab the uh, the scupperware with bait in it. See if I can lure one of them out. I already have something in there. Here, fishy, fishy, fishy. Okay, now I can actually see where I'm going, and there is a little entrance to an underwater cave here, just to the left. Whew. It's a good thing I can hold my breath for ten minutes. It's the stolen booty from the bank! Just fell out of the chest. A tiny screw. I'll bet it goes to Pegnose's prosthetic nose. Now I can clear the good name of Guybrush Streetwood. So I definitely want to pick that up. I can show the uh, the detective later. Look at itty bitty brass screw. Let's just pick this up. That must be used to uh, screw on Pegnose's uh, nose. <laughs> so let's get out of here. I can just press O to head back uh, to the map. Um, there we go. And uh, quickly run back to town, head to the law office. No, not the law office. I wanted to go to the the justice department of justice. And I think that's just down here. Here we go. The hall of justice. Okay, we have the loot. I recovered the stolen loot. Am I free now? That doesn't mean you didn't steal it. Um, hmm. Well, we've got some evidence. Here we go. Oh, Inspector, I think you'll find this interesting. What's this? It looks like a tiny screw. I think you'll find it goes with a nose I gave you earlier. Oh, you do, do you? What makes you so sure, eh? It won't prove a thing. Quiet, you. Well then, perhaps we should give it a try. Down! Down, down! Down! Hold still, you! Quiet, you! Well, I'll be. Well, let, let's see that screw. It doesn't fit. Quiet, you! If the nose fits, you must acquit. I've never seen that screw before in my life. Quiet, you! Well, all right, then. I guess your name's been cleared. Let's see that leg of yours. Oh, um, right. <laughs> the anklet thing. Hold on. Maybe I should do a background check on you. Just because you didn't rob the bank, doesn't mean you aren't wanted for other more heinous crimes. Hey, he stole a duck! Quiet, Quiet you. you! On the other hand, 
without the stigma of felonious robbery hanging over your head, you seem pretty harmless. So, off you go. Hey, was that an insult? <laughs> Done paying your debt to society, Otis? Ha freaking ha. Time to make sales, shipmates. Thank God. I hate this repressive place. Yeah, I was getting kind of bored. We can't. I have more repairs to make. <laughs> Just kidding. Ship's ready. All right, mateys, stay here and watch the ship while I go into town. Yeah, you guys stay here while uh, Guybrush and I check out the flora. If you get to go, I get to go. Scumbar, here I come! Hey, if anyone here gets to go to the scumbar, it's me. Hey, <clears throat> please stay here and guard the ship. I'll be back soon. Jeez, we were just kidding. We were. This can't be right. I'm afraid it is, Governor. Charles L. Charles' Good Times Free Grog campaign has given him a 23% lead in all the polls. But... Honey, I'm home. Guybrush, uh, you're back. Yes, and look what I've got. Uh, oh, wait, that's not it. Oh, Guybrush, this is wonderful. Esteban, take these papers down to Melee Town Hall and save my mansion. Oh, Guybrush, I am so glad you're back. What took you so long? Well, that's a funny story. It all started when I went looking for the no-nosed pirate. And then Ozzy said, I'm gonna put your shrimp on me body. After that, I was attacked by an army of koalas. And so the lawyers used the Marley Mansion deed to drop the legal papers to save the mansion. Then I came back here. Well, seems like the sensible thing to do would be to destroy my grandfather's heirloom so that no one could get their hands on the ultimate insult. Whatever that is. I agree. Got a match? <laughs> Charles, you manipulating weasel. Get out of my house before I stick my piranha poodles on you. Yikes! No, no, my dear Mrs. Marley. The Reapwood. Is that any way to talk to the next governor of Melee Island? I don't care what the polls say. The pirates of Melee will see through your tissues of false hopes and empty promises. <laughs> the pirates of Melee couldn't see through a window. They can't even see what's right in front of them. What are you talking about? Why, only the biggest lie of them. LeChuck! LeChuck! At your service! Enough of this inane banter! I've got an election to win! <laughs> How do you expect to be elected once I tell everyone you're really LeChuck? Go ahead, tell them! Shout it from the rooftops! It will only ensure my victory! And once I'm elected, I'll use my gubernatorial powers to divine the secrets of the ultimate insult. Huh? You heard me. The ultimate insult. With its unholy power, I'll make the seas run red with the blood of my enemies. I'll bring the forces of hell to the shores of the Caribbean. And I'll finally make Elaine my willing bride. <laughs> Oh, yeah? Well, you fight like a cow. 